Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous video that I came out yesterday. If not, be sure to watch till the end. I will leave a <coughs> ping box at the top right corner. So today there are some important information about Dueling, which is the update and I will just go through with you the bonds, no skill farming. So basically I'm using bonds itself to farm bonds. So bonds versus bond light up going on. And in the meantime, just get some skills as there is some drop skills to achieve for bonds. And lastly, I will feature a lazy auto duel. So basically, I think if you have all the SR cards and UR cards from bonds, you would like to be lazy a bit, just go auto duel. So I'm now at level 20 on my bonds. I will be trying my best to, you know, level up to show you more decks. So I'm really looking forward to Zombie World. I think it will be a meta changing to Red Eye Zombie deck. So, and now two more levels to go. And most likely tomorrow I will feature this card in my Red Eye Zombie deck. So be sure to stay tuned. I hope you get, guys enjoy this video. Drop a like. Leave your comments down below for what other videos you'd like me to show you guys. Or just what other games you'd like me to play with you. And remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook. Subscription is free, take note about it. So basically today, <coughs> we have an update. So you check on the mirror, and we have a notice. Forbidden slash limit list and skill balance. So basically today is a shock to a lot of players. So just let's go on to the limit list first. So for at the front page, you can easily see. Semi limited, only two cuts from the semi limited list can be included in the deck. So basically, Cyber Angel Dikini and Machine Angel Reacher has all been limited. So, in November 2017, which is last month, Machine Angel Reacher was limited into one card. But I think there is still too much of complaint from the survey that Dikini is such a cancer deck. You know, you will sure win with that. Honestly, I disagree. As if you are a follower of my channel, you can see that I have kept posting about decks that can beat Zikini easily. Even my top tier meta deck, the King of Game deck, that I think I showcased like 2-3 days ago, it will have the consequences of Zikini deck. So Cyber Angel, to me, is it's really beatable. But I think Konami is facing a lot of stress from a lot of players that, you know, so now what is what is this gonna impact the game? Which means now for Cyber Angel deck you can only pick two cards either or and Cyber Dikini or Machine Angel Reacher. So in your deck you can have two Machine Angel Reacher or two Cyber Angel Dikini or one Cyber Angel Dikini and one Machine Angel Reacher. Honestly, this is a very very big nerf for Cyber Angel. I don't think it will be tier 1 anymore. It will definitely drop after next uh, on January 9, 2018. This will come in place. And I'm kind of disappointed to be honest. Um, if you know me well from my previous deck, I'm all about you know attacking rather than burning and milling. I only show those decks for fun and I keep on telling you guys to use it after you attain King of Games. Because I mean in dueling we fight to have fun, not to, you know, just burn and mill opponent. I, I I don't know. I mean I understand some people do that, but honestly as a player myself, I hate to come up decks against decks like mill or burn deck. So definitely this will be a big hit for Cyber Angel. And Next, we have some skill rebalancing. More, more changes in the dueling meta. So what are the skills that, you know, gonna be changed? Firstly, 3 star demotion. So ninja deck, hazy frame deck, or any 3 star demotion deck, that's a big hit. This skill will only be usable once per duel. So, I mean, if you regen your life to, you know, maximum or whatever you try to use again, no. Nope. It won't happen. This skill will only be usable once per duel and only when you have 1000 or less life point remaining. So basically it's a reverse. If let's say you left like 1000 life point, 
or 900 life points you are able to use three star demotion basically i think for free is something like last gamble now but i mean the the the, the second part is like however the paradox brother have a trick this is bullshit this is just for the uh fighting for the ld at the gate so basically you want to see the first two sentences three star demotion total nerf so I think a lot of people face, uh, you know, criticism against three star emotion, getting high beta monster out fast. But one thing, they are super weak against burn deck. I mean, just two 500 damage uh, life loss is GG. So to me, I I think three star emotion has been nerfed twice previously, uh, once and now another time. So this won't be very useful anymore. Destiny draw has been nerfed as well. <laughs> So when choosing a card to draw from the deck, cards will be sorted as the same order in the deck editor. So what does this mean? Let's go on to the deck editor. So basically when you use Destiny uh, draw, you will see something like this. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Just give me a minute. Let me pull up. So you will basically see, I mean, it will be in a mess on the on the right hand side, like maybe like this. It, it will be shuffled in the sense that you know you can't read the next card. You 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 are you are not aware of what other cards coming up. So will it be a very big uh, nerf uh, to me? I don't think so. We must wait and see till it is. And the next nerf will be restart. So there will be a 20 second time limit on deciding whether to use restart. Also, if you use restart, your hand will be shown to your opponent before it is returned to the deck. Your opponent can check the cards that will return to the deck in the dual lock. So basically, I think there's a lot of complaint that, you know, restart takes too long and people waited for like a minute before the opponent make make the, the call to me i agree sometimes i when i face restart people just take too long so there's a 20 second buffer take note of that and if you restart your hand back to the deck you will show your opponent i don't think it will affect much but it will give your opponent a better read on what kind of decks you are playing what kind of cards you are playing so you know i would say a 20 30 percent nerf so middle edge mac Ancient Gear Castle will be activated at the start of your first turn instead of the start of the duel. So what does this mean? Because if you use a uh, AG deck, when you start the duel, the spell card is already on the field. But now with this, I mean Sammy nerf, this spell card is only on the field when it's your turn. If you are turn one, you toast the hit, definitely no effect for you, because your spell card will be there. For turn two player, your spell card goes there. But if they have a magic drain or anything that neglect the spell card, you can't use it anymore. So you will straight away go to trash. So a minor scan, a, a minor nerf. The next one will be the very big one, my scan. This skill will activate from the third turn. The required life point will not change. So basically you will get brine for the first two turn. So if you are turn one player, you can't see the player on turn two. If you are turn two player, you can't see the the card set on turn one so if i'm my scan i would rather be turn one rather than going turn two then the rest is like just a bit of buff miracle fusion time some life point changes where the heroes do destiny calling so and so forth i would say there is some buff that you know it seems interesting because there is more potential in the skill now people may start to use quit as the wind silent as the water this kind of skill will be more more likely to be used so basically this is the changes of the dueling so now let's move on to the video of today which is the bonds no skill farming which can help you to farm more skills for bonds and the lazy auto duel so basically i use a no skill bond skillers farm just give me a minute let me pull out the image on the right hand side so you guys can take a look as I play the replay I hope you guys enjoy this video do drop a like and follow me on my Facebook and remember to subscribe for more 
So okay, let's move on to the deck list. So we have two Red Eye Vivan, just to you know show some presence on the front row and has a special summon one Red Eye from my graveyard to the field. So three Red Eye Zombie Dragon, one Grave Keeper, which is always vital for farming. Three Red Eye Brew Dragon and three Red Eye Inside to mill up more cards to unit attack and three cards of the Red Stone just to mill up more cards secret pass to the treasure and two Red Eye in Spirit so without further ado let's move on to the highlights so I mean it's always useful to use bonds against bonds because we want to get more we want to level up this character uh, quickly especially for me as I want to show more content to you guys and to get some drop skill so it's a win-win situation I start off with pretty okay hand I would say so I will just keep on milling my cards just so I can end the turn fast this is pretty consistent I would say it's about 80-90% I play this do this this deck about like I would say five times and honestly I, I win five of it but there was one in the next replay that was a close fight so I will show you guys so my turn basically I just leave it let it be I don't want to attack them I just you know just keep on milling my cards there and do some tribute summon special summon whatsoever shenanigans that I want to do tribute summon for more dual assessment and now I just wait, wait till I get a full hand before I do anything. Never set your back row more than two cards because there is a Xing Zheng Hu. So now it's turn 14, it's time for the OTK. It's time for the wrap up, the wrap around. So just use the Gravekeeper, secret pass to the treasure, double union attack, and go for the life point directly. This is a easily 8000 dual assessment deck. So, no skill farm, there you go. This is a more premium deck. I mean, Red Eye Zombie players will definitely love this because it's so much easier. And this is the duo that, you know, I nearly lost, but as of now, I'm 100% using this deck without any problems at all. So, I hope you guys have success farming him. More or less, I have most of the cards only left with one witch and the other SR card so one each I hope that I can bring out two videos for you guys more ghost streak and one of the zombie world card so stay tuned to my channel subscribe follow me on my Facebook because uh, I usually pr put up the video in my Facebook first so you know just follow there and subscribe basically subscription will tells you that you know there's a new video out and thank you guys for spot. Okay, my mistake is I attack them. <laughs> I shouldn't even attack them at all. Because by attacking them, I don't know, it just make makes the game so much difficult. So much so weird. I have no idea why. I think it's just some bug going on, but never do attack them. You just put Ray Eye Wyvern, basically they'll go face down in the monster fear. You see now they are attacking me, I having a headache now. I'm just trying to, to kill off his monster just to have some you know to have a success farming because skill of the server allows him to you know just keep on special summon back to the field which is uh, I mean I'm okay but because of the mess up life point I did not get the 8000 dual assessment so you know learn from my mistake that's what I always say I'm not the perfect player in dueling but learn from my mistake if I did something good I will let you know if I did something bad I will let you know as well so you know don't mind if I didn't tell you so now I'm just waiting for me to run out of cards before I go for the knockout punch of Bond's ghostly face so he just came on milling his deck which is kind of irritating but I I think this deck is very consistent so be, sh be sure to use them you you will be very surprised with his viability so now it's time for the knockout punch, left, right, center, like a Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, straight in, 
Bond's face. Easy peasy like a cheesy juicy pie. So Bond's got freaked around. Poor him, but it's alright. I hope you guys have a good farming. So this is the... Oh, oh, I shouldn't show you this. I shouldn't show you this. I apologize. I apologize for this. You shouldn't even see this now. Let me just quickly cancel this. This is a secret deck as of now. You can review this in one minute time after I give you the introduction. So basically the next deck I'm gonna show you. I, I use this deck for level up and I would say I win 90% of the time. I use it to fight uh the bonds and it's 100%. I never lose an auto duel in with this deck. It is so viable, it is so powerful. So if you got all the cards and you just want to, you know, try your luck to get some skill or get some more SR to convert, be sure to use this. This helps you save time. This is for busy player, lazy player, hazy, lazy, busy player. So what this deck com comprise? That's no skill. I don't use any skill. So two Knight of the Red Lotus. You can you may have one. I would rather have two and you know just just pick your highest attack I have all the thousand nine so I have one elemental hero just for fun and galleator beast three of them and three boss rider and just three cyber cyros and tribute to the doom just to remove them uh the big monster if you manage to summon super rush headlong just to for defending enemy controller in case the big monster with 4000 attack comes attacking at me i change it to defense position mirror wall wall disruption it's a very very simple deck so this is so easy for auto duo which i mean sometimes if you are just busy working and you saw bonds is there okay auto duo you don't want to mess up your working life your relationship with your parents with your friends with your girlfriend with your wife with your kids use this deck this will save you the trouble for farming. The dual assessment is about 3,000 to 4,000. It really depends. So, but I mean, it's still not bad. So now you tribute to Doom, painful decision, no biggie, because I got it all covered with a back row, and you know, it's just auto do. I'm I'm not controlling this. I don't know even why it activated, but I don't I don't really care. So now I use Cyber Cyrus to attack. And yeah, so on and so forth. This is a pretty easy, uh, foolproof, bulletproof auto duo deck. So, you, I mean, you can use this deck for any character level up. I'm pretty sure it's about easily 80-90% of the win rate. So, yeah, he's left with 300 life points in turn 5. So, you know, it's fast and furious. And you, you don't even need to sweat. So, yep. Just, just what bots did, enemy controller and go for the KO. All right, I plan to show you three of the replay, but I think just show you another one just for you know credibility that this is hundred percent win rate against bonds. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do drop a thumbs up for it. Leave your comments down below if you have any you know feedback or any deck suggestion. Feel free to PM me, message me, subscribe to me, and follow me on my Facebook. I know there's a lot of viewers that you know PM me on Facebook. I I love the interaction, but if you want me to have a duo with you, I have live stream maybe once or twice a week. I will definitely let you guys know so we can you know. I prefer to do with you guys while streaming because off stream I'm trying to do more videos for you guys. So you know hope for your understanding and thank you guys for your support we are 184 subscriber now i'm wishing that by end of this week we can push for 200 subscriber subscriber and by christmas there may be something going on so i hope you guys have a good day good afternoon good night signing off and peace happy farming and i mean happy early christmas bye